If you want to score more goals on FIFA 23, you have come to the right place. I have got you covered. If you're tired of coming up against teams like this, you can get some foot coins through MMO EXP using the link down below. You can also use code JAMBU for 5% off. In this video, I'll be showing you guys some attacking tips that I've used personally at a pro level and what I've coached so many people to try and do and they've seen proven results when attacking on FIFA. If there's anything that you don't understand, please do let me know in the comments. Let's try and hit 300 likes on this video and do not forget to subscribe. I upload daily videos helping you improve. But for now, let's get into it. So there's certain things that you have to do if you wanna win on FIFA. We've saw one of them straight away through balls super op make sure you're adding those into your game they're just a way of like even if your opponent marks it a lot of the time it just seems to work we go back again here this is like the perfect scenario of when to add these chip through balls in so you can see he's got his arm outstretched the defender is nowhere near him just chip through ball in behind and then you can create some play from there what i like to do in these positions is try and get the ball from the wide position into the center so you'll always have these options on the edge of the box. And as long as you can find the cutback to the players, you then find yourself in really good position. So you can see here, um, I'm able to play the ball to my striker. This is another tip. What a lot of people do is they will just shoot here. What you'll see at the very highest level is always looking for that extra pass. So you can see it just opens up right about here. A lot of people there, they will shoot into the goalkeeper. Always make sure that you look for that extra pass it just guarantees yourself the goal a lot of the time there's more to it than just what you do in the attack it's where you win the ball so you can see here we've won the ball in a super dangerous position what i like to do when i'm in these 2v1 situations you can see his center back is sort of caught in between two minds does he come to the ball does he mark neymar i like to play a lot here so what you'll see is i drag neymar back a little bit and then play the pass on the player lock. The next thing you want to be doing always is making sure that you're looking for that goalkeeper movement. You can see by the time I've shot the ball, he's almost completely moved his keeper just out of the way. Like, you just wait for that keeper movement. As long as you've got the time, you can always do this. What a lot of people do is they panic and just shoot. You can see here, it just guarantees myself the goal. Easy peasy, player lock, into waiting for the keeper movement three goals another thing you want to always make sure you've got is like a set piece routine in your head the worst thing you can do in fifa is try and like improvise everything you want to have it already there so for me there's two ways that i take every single corner i either take it short do a step over and cross to the back post or i do what you're about to see here so we pass it short wait for the defender to commit to me i pass the ball out and then i whip it in a little bit of a shambles example we get a little bit lucky but you can see the premise there uh, we just wait and draw the defender in pass to the other guy play the cross easy goal i'm sure you guys are aware but step overs in this game are absolutely broken we are going to get a little bit fortunate here but if you're ever in a position like this this is where you want to step over to the direction you're facing and then cut inside. You're going to see here how quick this is. Uh, Neymar of a little step over. It just opens that angle up into the far post. You cut across the defender and you're just going to create easy chances doing this. An important thing to learn is when to go forward and when to go back. So you can see here we're going to win the ball. And the first thing you want to do if you ever win the ball in the middle is just look at your options. So obviously I've got some players back that I could pass to like Cancelo or Adama. I'm thinking forward here. We've won it in a position where his midfield's been taken out of the game. So you can see just one pass forward and we're in a really dangerous position. From here, uh, we can just play a little through ball in and then find the finish. So always make sure when you win the ball back in the middle, you're actually looking to see is there an option forward and if there isn't you can recycle it but if there is it's important to take advantage of this phase of play here is one that you can just recreate over and over again so what i do here is as soon as i've got the ball with one of my strikers i'll look at the other one and press l1 on the controller that's going to trigger him on a forward run 
and then from there you can just wait and wait and wait until he's on the shoulder of the defender and then play a chip through ball over you can do this time and time and time again and it is just easy goals i'll let that one play for you again so you can see here now i press l1 then i send the through ball and there is just nothing he can do about it super op so this is going to be another example of step overs and the extra pass a little bit of r1 dribbling in there which i recommend as well we use the step over there to just exit and create a bit of space but that's not the main example what you're going to see here is we get the ball and i love doing it in these sort of areas where you can go either way so you can see i start the step over here waiting for his defender to start coming towards me and then you can either exit to the left or the right and you're just going to completely get away from him so you can see here it creates the space we literally we put him on his backside like he is completely out of the game driven pass into the striker which is super effective as well when you're just on the edge of the box and then we look for that extra pass and find the finish not too sure what his keeper was doing but you can see the general point here so let's see it again step overs find the driven pass a little bit of r1 dribbling and we find the back of the net easy peasy if you haven't added them into your game, reverse elasticos are ridiculous as well. If you're ever at an angle like this and you're sort of unsure what to do, I'm not joking, you can just hit a reverse elastico and hope. Literally, as crazy as it sounds, it can work. So you can see here, we just cut across his defender and just score as easy as that. We're going to go back here just so you can see that again. It is pretty ridiculous. So we get here, we literally just glitch round him and find the back of the net. And if you're ever in a one-on-one -on -one with a defender, Elastico, reverse Elastico, it will just work. Sometimes you have to be a little bit patient as well. You can see here, there is space to run into, but it's one of those where if I got into that space, there's not actually that much on. So what we're going to do is we recycle the ball here, look for a pass inside. We go for the driven pass. I find that in these areas where the pass is sort of 50-50 as to whether the defender is going to intercept it, it can be really useful to driven pass it because even if they do intercept, it quite often bounces off them. On this occasion, the ball does get through and we're going to hit a step over again. Like I said earlier, uh, the step overs just shield your player. You're going to see here the most ridiculous thing happens. Like we just sort of bounce off him and then are able to hit a volley into the back of the net. Stupid, I know. But seriously, you need to add these step overs into your game. They're a joke. This is something you can do in this area time and time again. And on this occasion, it looks like it's a one in a million fluky lucky goal. And it somewhat is here. But the general premise is something you guys should keep an eye on. So if you ever get the ball into this area here, the driven pass across goal is the way to go. I would say a good 50% of the time, it just morphs through the defender and locks onto your player. And quite often it goes in like it does here. So an R1 driven pass across goal it just hits the defender, flies in, and that is a pretty uh, consistent co like way, uh, I would say coincidence, but it's not. It's a pretty consistent way of scoring goals from those weird angles across the goal. Just a driven pass. We get lucky, but it happens. The, the L1, R1 chipped through balls are just stupid as well. We spoke earlier about the normal chipped through balls. These ones are crazy too. You can see a little dink there. And what you want to do always Whenever you're one-on-one, -on -one, just have a look at what the goalkeeper's doing. If they bring them out at any point, a chip shot just goes in all the time. You can see here, very easy. If they ever bring the keeper out, those chip shots are so reliable. And you need to make sure you're adding those into your game. And finally, we have timed finishing. If you don't know what this is, basically, you hold down shoot, the shot button. And as soon as your player is about to kick the ball, you press shoot again. And if you get the timing right, you get a green timed finish, which just rockets the ball into the back of the net. So you can see here, we send his defender dizzy. You see that little green icon above his head? That means I've timed it perfectly. And he just smashes the finish into the back of the net. It's a lot more consistent than just shooting. So if you can get that mastered, it's definitely something you want to be adding into your game. But guys, these were some attacking tips. I do hope it helped. If you have any other questions at all or anything like that, please do let me know. I'm obviously here to help you guys. If we can hit 300 likes on the video that would be much appreciated i will catch you on the next one and peace